What up, gang? This is Ken Zerk, Ken Zilligan, Zika Milligan, and Villa Villa Trilligan, and we are back on Dongan Rafa 2 Goodbye Despair. Honestly, I just couldn't. I, I need to I need to get this investigation going. Alright, I'm probably gonna do the class trial tomorrow, but today I wanna do this investigation. So let's go. First we need to look at the Monokuma file. Damn. The victim is Nagato Komaeda. The body was discovered inside the warehouse near the Monokuma plushie factory. The estimated time of death is believed to be noon sharp. Not only is there a spear stabbed in his stomach, there are multiple stab wounds on each of his thighs. Furthermore, there is a laceration on his left arm and a knife impaled through his right hand. What a tragic situation. Just reading this is making me depressed. I'm gonna be honest. Y'all know I never really liked Nagito like that. From the beginning, I thought he was gonna be cool, but he he, he just kind of turned out to be kind of a jerk. I really did appreciate his character in the story. I enjoyed having him in the story. Is there something wrong with this Monokuma file? Again? But what's wrong with it? Not only is there a spear stabbed in his stomach, there are multiple stab wounds on each of his thighs. Laceration on his left arm and a knife impaled through his right hand. Yep. It's definitely weird. Well, I guess I'll find out if I look around. That's what the investigation is for. Don't worry your form conclusions on your own. That makes me more worried than I should be. We can discuss it later. Right now is our only chance to investigate. We should investigate first. If we don't, there won't be anything for us to discuss. Well, I guess you're right. Let's start with the area surrounding Nagato's body. I should start with the back of the warehouse. Since the curtain blocked most of the water, this area wasn't affected by the sprinklers that much. Thanks to that, I can properly investigate Nagato's body. I never thought I'd have to investigate Nagato's body. He probably didn't expect to end up like this either. Damn. Ah, this is... It's an oil lighter. This is where the curtains would have been hanging. It also looks like the fire did extensive damage here. If the oil lighter was placed here, uh, an oil lighter, someone probably wanted to keep warm. It's a most foolish thought. This is clearly the cause of the fire. Well? Oil lighters can continue to burn even after someone lets go of them. Which means? So using that, the curtain was set on fire. Using the oil lighter, huh? Do you think the killer set up some sort of trick with it? You are right. The killer probably planned to destroy evidence by setting this warehouse on fire. They caused a fire to destroy evidence. The only reason I could come, I could think of why a killer would set fire to the crime scene, but. Bunch of plastic bottles, remnants of the of plastic are scattered everywhere. Probably the plastic, the, the fire grenades. Those fire grenades that were used to put out the fire, they weren't actually that useful in the end. The fire was only extinguished thanks to the sprinklers. Well, nevertheless, this evidence really isn't all that strange. Monokuma's dead! There's blood coming out of his stomach. Hey. No response, he's dead, Jim. Just kidding, I'm not dead. Is this one of the life-size plushies that were being produced? If you're mistaking a plushie for me, then there's something wrong with you. You're a stuffed animal, too. Don't put oversized garbage there. It's so misleading. What, the heck? what are you calling oversized garbage? Could this be one of Monokuma's tricks? Then why'd he do it? Making a hole like he got stabbed and going through the trouble of dirtying the hole with blood. Did he try to imitate Nagato's body or something? I had nothing to do with that. Huh? You're so evil. He's probably lying. 
seriously, you're always lying. You should just die like the plushie over there. What's this? You seem more piss than usual these days, Monami. But you better watch what you say. If I feel like it, I could wipe you out easily, you know? And we'll give in to your threats. I'll definitely take back the seat of world supremacy for Monokuma. Excuse you? Looks like those annoyances are gone. Wasn't Monokuma's trick that who did this? Could the killer have done it? If so, is this Nagito's blood? I have no idea how this connects to the incident. I never expected Nagito to die like this. He was always spouting nonsense about hope and trying to confuse the hell out of us. But even so, dying like this is just too cruel. Also, it wasn't completely useless. There were times we were only able to reach the truth because of him. But everything good and bad about him is gone. We'll never be confused by him again. We'll never be saved by him again. No. Now isn't the time to think about unnecessary things. I need to focus on the investigation right now. But now I need to investigate everything about this body that catches my eye. Nagato's right wrist is tied with a rope. It looks like the tip of that rope is burned off. This be the result of the fire? But that's weird. If the rope is burned off like this... Why are why are Nagito's clothes completely unaffected by the fire when he was so close to the blaze? Nagito's right wrist is tied with rope, but the tip of that rope is burned off. Could this be the result of the fire? But if the rope is burned off like this... Yeah, knife, don't... The knife is stabbed through Nagito's right hand. Did the killer do this? How could they do something so cruel? Uh. That knife. It must be from the military base. Military base. Now that you mention it, it looks like a survival knife. Well? By the way, it seems the wounds on his legs and left arm are caused by the same knife. Which means the killer was finished stabbing Nagito's legs and left arm. They stabbed the knife through his right hand. It cannot be. And then they finished him up with a spear. Then does that mean the killer went through the trouble of using two weapons, a knife and a spear? But they could have just killed him by stabbing him with a knife. Why did they need to use a spear at all? That is definitely strange. Was there a reason they had to use it? Reason they had to use the spear, huh? Probably to capture him. Scared with a flashy ornament. Or a pound deeply in the Nagito's stomach. There is no way around it. That looks like the fatal wound. What's this? Oh my, what's this? It's a strange looking spear, isn't it? A cord extension to tip of the handle and there's an iron weight attached to it. I see, I see. You use the cord as a whip to capture the enemy and deliver the final blow with the spear. Is this your first time looking at this too? Of course not! Um, this is the Spear of Gunnir, right? You definitely just came up with that now. Nah, he came up he came up with that in Danganronpa 1 when he... Well, I guess she killed her sister. Hey, hey. By the way, I wanted to ask you, where did that spear come from? I feel like I saw it at Nezumi Castle. What? What? Nezumi Castle? What the hell? I was designed to be afraid of mice, so I can't go in there. <laughs> damn you, mice! Damn you all to hell! I see. Even he doesn't know what's inside that castle. But more importantly, I need to focus on the investigation. The spear definitely catches my eye, but the weight on the end of the cord coming out of the handle. Looks like that part has blood on it, too. For some reason, this section of the cord doesn't have blood on it. It's about the size of a human fist. It's strange that this section of the core doesn't have blood on it. Also, Chiaki mentioned this earlier, but apparently that spear came from Nezumi Castle. Might be better if I confirm that later.
No, I've seen the Spear of Gungnir. That's not it. That's not the Spear of Gungnir. Both of Nagato's legs are tied up. Each rope is tied to the pillars nearby. He wouldn't have been able to move at all. According to the Monokuma file, the wounds on his legs are all stab wounds. Does that mean the killer didn't just tie up Nagito, they also stabbed his leg? Why would the killer do something like that? Damn it. At any rate, it's pretty sadistic. The killer must have been holding a huge grudge toward him. Or they might have been torturing him. I was thinking that. Huh? I mean, if they just wanted to kill him, they could have just stabbed him once in the chest, right? If you disregard the spear on his chest, the other wounds were inflicted for reasons other than killing. This means the wounds all over Nagato's body were from the killer torturing him. That's the case. What was the killer trying to make Nagato confess? Was it something that would have led to the traitor? Even so. Well, even if this was torture, there's no doubt that the killer must have held a deep grudge towards Nagato. Refusing to let him die easily. I can totally understand a dark impulse like that. Even if they held a grudge against him, would they really have gone this far? He must have been in great pain. He clearly had this agonizing look on his face when he died. His mouth is covered with duct tape. Was this to keep Nagito from screaming for help? Jeez, what a horrible look on his face. The blood splattered all over doesn't help either. The good thing is mouth is covered with duct tape, otherwise I wouldn't be able to look at him. Ah, uh, got a minute? Sorry, excuse me. Chiaki moved past Kazuichi and Mia squatted down next to Nagito's face. In one swift movement, she ripped the duct tape off his mouth. Hey, what are you doing? It's gonna be fine. It'll be fine. I'll put it right back I'll put it back right away once I'm done investigating here. Putting a duct tape isn't the issue, you ungrateful swan, you're gonna get cursed! Ah, mm. uh, the blood on Nagito's face, it looks like it mostly came from the slice on his left arm. If that's the case. Hey, hey. How about that blood splattered on his face? There's no blood under the duct tape. Well, what's wrong with that? Well. This duct tape has crinkles, like it was sticking toward the inside of his mouth. Nagito was probably desperately moving his mouth, mouth under the duct tape. Seriously, what's wrong with that? She means Nagito's mouth was covered with duct tape before he got all these wounds. So he tried to shout, which caused a duct tape to get sunken into his mouth a bit. But what's wrong with that? Is that really something we need to know? Worry about? If that, if it, if it was on his mouth before he was killed, why isn't there any blood on it? I don't really get it. Just put the duct tape back on his mouth already. Yep. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, this might be some kind of clue too. I should remember it. Oh well, I thought this, I thought I thought the duct tape had Oh, I didn't I thought the duct tape didn't have blood on it. I was wrong. Okay. There's a cut on his upper left arm. His le legs and right hand have stab wounds, but this wound looks like a slice. That's probably the reason the wound on his left arm doesn't look that deep compared to his other wound. Regardless, it doesn't change the fact that this is a hideous wound. There's blood everywhere. There's something strange. Strange what? Look at the palm of his left hand. I think that blood from when his left arm was sliced, but... Doesn't a blood splatter look strange? It cuts off right in the middle of his palm. Yeah, it definitely cuts off. Maybe that's as far as the blood could reach when it was splattered. That would explain the blood on his palm, but... Something else that's strange? When you flip it over and look at the back of his hand, there's also blood, but only just ab above the middle, the middle joint of each finger. You're right, why is it only this part? Just like I said, right? It's strange, right? I win. Yeah, sure, you win. But it's definitely strange. What did the killer do to make the blood splatter like this? Guess I'm done with the area surrounding Nagito. Can't believe I actually investigated the grisly looking body. Even now I'm surprised at myself. 
Does this mean I'm used to it? My classmate's dead body is right in front of me. One of my peers is the killer responsible. And I have to investigate his death so I can find his killer. Am I used to something as abnormal as that? That would mean I'm becoming abnormal too. Mm. So just as I thought. If only everyone could go home, nothing would make me happier. No, we should finish the class trial, then we can think about what will happen after. It mattered for Gundam killing and for Mikans. But it looks different this time. It doesn't matter this time. What doesn't matter? The time! Looks like the time doesn't matter. It was clearly written in a Monokuma file that the time of the death was noon sharp. If it was at noon, then what were we doing at that time? What are we doing right now is... 12pm. So it also has a clock function. And that means Nagato died 30 minutes ago. Huh? It happened recently. He's totally a fresh kill. Fresh. Seems like a bad way to describe it. If it happened 30 minutes ago, was it around the time we were all struggling with the bombs? The only person who wasn't around at that time was Sonya. I'm gonna be completely honest. I've been thinking ever since since we first found Nagato's body, I thought Sonya was the killer. I thought Sonya was the killer since we first saw Nagato's body. Cause she was like, I, I, I thought maybe like that whole I'll be there later was an excuse to torture him and get information out of him to find out who the, to find out who the, um, to, to make him stop everything. But at the same time, I also thought that maybe, um, she was, a, I've been thinking that Sonya might have been the traitor. I've been thinking that for a while, actually. Since Nagato first started bringing it up and Sonya was reacting a lot, like a lot heavier to it. I was starting to think that Sonya might be the traitor. So if she is the killer here, then she's also the traitor. If it happened 30 minutes ago, was it around the time we were struggling with the bombs? You're right, those fake bombs were originally supposed to explode at noon. Which means whoever doesn't have an alibi for that time is Nagato's killer. But this can be like when Nekomaru died. The killer could have also used some kind of automatic setup. Also, the crime looked very detailed, so they would have needed time to prepare. Right. And whoever doesn't have an alibi before we found the bombs is suspicious. Huh? Wait, none of us have an alibi for that time. That's when we all split up to search for the bombs. Yeah, that's the problem. Like. I'm not freaking out about it like Kazuichi, but I definitely can't stop thinking about it. When the Monokuma timer reaches zero two days from now, what's gonna happen? It's gonna happen. That's obviously wrong. This Ryan school trip is gonna end, right? We can finally go back home. Carefree to the end. Does that mean you don't think that'll happen? Well, yeah. Monokuma might be planning to make us do something after the countdown ends. Hey, hey. What do you mean something? Shut up. Shut up. He's making us kill each other, you know? What could be worse than that? Damn it. I don't know. This is Monokuma we're talking about, you know? There's no way this will end smoothly with a countdown. Anyway, like you said before, if we screw up here, it's the end for us. But now let's focus on the investigation. We'll think about the countdown after we live through the class trial. And don't be bringing strange stuff like that up. Shut up, Kazuichi. One of us killed Nagato in such a cruel way. It's too bizarre, I can't do anything except laugh. She looks he's deep in thought while staring at the ceiling. What happened? Is that the strain about the ceiling? There's blood up there. Yep. Yeah, about that sprinkler. That's one of the sprinkler heads that activated to put out the fire. Well. You can see a girder right next to it, right? There. See? Can you see that red streak? Huh? You're right, I definitely see it. it Looks like a small red line on the ceiling girder. Perhaps. Is that blood? Blood. The color definitely looks like blood, but there's no way blood could get up there, right? Plus, it's in a straight line. That's why I've been staring at it. I think it's strange. 
is definitely strange. I should remember this. Is it possible that they stabbed the spear through him and then used the, the whip to hang him up? Now then, I guess that's enough investigating the area behind the curtain. The killer's goal wasn't just killing Nagito. There should have been another reason as well. If not, they wouldn't have gone through the trouble of tying him up with a rope, covering his mouth with duct tape. Not just that, there's no reason to inflict any wounds other than a fatal one. What was the reason? Like I better investigate other areas to figure that out. All right, let's try investigating the other areas inside this warehouse first. A lot of tipped over Monokuma panels. The panel near the center in the back is tipped over and burned. Did the fire do that? Why are they scattered like this? The last time I came here, I seem to recall. They should have been neatly put away. Maybe we're the ones who made this mess. Huh? Look, the tipped over panel by the entrance is really close to the door, right? Maybe the reason these panels are really tipped over is because... It's fine, I'll open it slowly. Not the problem. Oh, when she kicked the door open, they were, somebody, they were using the panels to block the door. So when Akane kicked it open... Could it be, was it that? And there's something else I've been wondering. These Monokuma panels are tipped over starting from the entrance to the back of the warehouse, right? They seem to be lying on top of each other in a straight line. Yeah, compared to the other tipped over panels, the li that line is the only one that's neat and orderly. Isn't that clearly strange? Strange, that means we can speculate this was done intentionally. MP3 player, there's even a speaker plugged into it. Why is this here? Looks like that weird music was playing from there. Hmm. You know that music that was blaring before the fire started? Yeah, you're right. Looks like it's busted from getting drenched by the st sprinklers. No mistaking it, that music was playing from that MP3 player. I don't disagree with that, but why was the killer playing music from there? Mmm, I don't think I'm right, but this is interesting. What if Sonya really is the killer? And you know how she's obsessed with serial killers, right? What if she was trying to recreate Genocide Jack? But you know, she didn't really know what she was doing for real. All she knew was that they had to be suspended and like brutally murdered. And she was trying to recreate that. That'd be interesting. I mean, I doubt that's it, but that is an interesting thought. Looks like Sonya's focused on investigating the warehouse. Which reminds me, there's something I need to ask her about. Now that we're pretty much finished investigating Nagito's body, it's time to talk to her. Hey Sonya, do you have a minute? Yes, what is it? I want to talk to you about when that fake bomb Nagito set in the warehouse exploded. Right before it exploded, you said something like this, right? It is alright, it is not a bomb. Why did you know the bombs were fake? Um, um, well, that's not all either. We were looking for the bombs. Why were you at the military base? Thought you were supposed to be searching the Central Island. Plus, when I called for you, you didn't come to the factory right away. Where were you and what were you doing during that time? Oh my. Oh, oh my. It cannot be. Do you, do you suspect me? It is a misunderstanding, I am not the killer. Jesus, shit, you son of a bitch. Sonya. I am sorry. I am terribly sorry. I was panicking. I shall calm down and explain to you why I was at the military base. When I first explored the final island, I discovered a vast amount of bombs there. Well? At first, I was worried that someone might use them for nefarious reasons if I announced it to everyone. So I kept silent the whole time. Does that mean you heard Nagito planted bombs? You got suspicious and went to investigate them. That is... And as I suspected, the bombs had disappeared. 
I thoroughly searched for them inside the military base when the bombs were nowhere to be found. And because you were searching for them, you were late when we all gathered. Please listen. And because of that, I reached a conclusion. The bombs Nagito brought were from the military base, which means they were fake bombs. How did you find that out? Because I attempted to use one of them. What? I, see. I, see. I thought one of the bombs would be strong enough to blast open the door to the ancient ruin. At the time, I still believed the bombs were real. And at the time, I thought I could use one of them to gain entrance into the ancient ruin. That's why you're the only one who knew the bombs at the military base were fake. That makes sense. I did. As did Mommy as well. She was also secretly peeking at the bomb. I can believe that. If the bombs are the same ones that disappeared, it would mean that Nagito took them. That is why I knew it was a fake. However, I did think it was strange when Nagito blew up the hotel lobby. That bomb was real, and I could not stop thinking about it. But upon further reflection, that might have been Nagito's plan all along. He showed us a real bomb to make us believe that the bombs he sent were real as well. If so, then Nagito's actions were extremely calculated. But the problem is his reason for doing it. With this, I have explained everything. Do you have a minute? There should be no more reason for you to doubt me. You're right, I got it. I don't know, man. Pretty much finished looking for clues. Still so many things I don't understand. You look worried. Yeah, I am. At a time like this, it might be good for you to broaden your investigation range. You mean it's good to investigate other places as well? She might be right. There are several things I've been wondering about besides the state crime scene. The military base, the plushie factory, Nazumi Castle, and Nagito's room too. I'm gonna understand the reason for his actions. I need to know more about him. I'm pretty sure the others have already finished investigating. Can you hear me? Hey, you guys, isn't it about time we leave this place and try exploring other areas too? In response to Chiyaki, the others gathered around her. I, see. I, see. I agree. I was just thinking about proceeding to another area. It seems we have the same idea. But is it safe? There won't be anyone to guard the crime scene. Yep. We don't have a choice. There just aren't many. There just aren't enough of us. Besides, we've investigated all we can here. Uh, I guess you're right. See? Also, it looks like the clues we found aren't enough to piece this incident together. We'll need to search for them in other areas, probably. Mm. Well, alternatively, if there aren't any clues in other areas, we'd have to give up completely. You don't really need to say that. Hey, hey. Then it's okay if we leave this place? Yeah. There's no time for us to stand around. In order to survive, there's no other way except to do it. In order to survive, we need to find Nagito's killer. If we don't sacrifice that person, nobody can survive. That's a reality. That's why there's no time for us to stand around. We saw Nagito's video message on his laptop. Is he still watching us from somewhere? If he's not, how did he send his message? The video was sent to play after the explosion. Why did he use a video message? The one thing I don't get. At the time, Nagito should have already been killed, which means that video was recorded in advance. That's right. Besides that video, there might be data on his laptop that could be used as a clue. With that thought in mind, I tried messing around with the laptop, but it's no use, it's locked. But if it's locked, then maybe there really is something inside. Maybe I'm overthinking it. My. I have never seen so many Monokumas in my life. Monokuma isn't exactly somebody you would normally run into. However, when I was staring at all these Monokumas, a thought occurred to me. Well? The bomb that went off in the lobby may, might have been set up here. Do you have a minute? If you hide a bomb inside a Monokuma plushie, it would make a frightening weapon. Do you not think that the group that is forcing us to kill each other would devise something like that? Amazing! A plushie bomb is an act of terrorism! Oh, let us rip these apart right away so we can confirm it. Hold on. There was a bomb inside. Wouldn't it explode if we carelessly mess with it? Either way, it is all gravy. All gravy? What does that mean? 
stop! There's no bomb! Hey, um... You'll know if you just pick me up, see? All you'll feel is a soft weight of cotton. I see. I see. You are right. However... Then where did Nagito obtain the bomb he used? Who knows? I wonder. Hmm. I'm gonna give you guys a hint and you should know it wasn't from the military base. <laughs> Tell you the truth, the bombs there are all fakes. Please wait. I know that already. You should have said so sooner. No. Well, I thought if I kept quiet, it would foreshadow that a killing was gonna happen. That's why I'm just now telling you for the first time. I feel relieved. The bomb wasn't from the military base or the, fac the factory then. He brought it from the octagon. Well, I must say, you have a good eye there, Sonya. <laughs> Putting a bomb inside one of my plushies seemed like a splendid idea. Yeah. Let's try it. Did I say something I should not have? It's not your fault, don't worry about it. Guns another fire on the stuff on the truck bed. Ah, found it! What do you find? Truck bed over there has guns in it, but I found stuff like a survival knife. Wait, that's Is that the same type of knife that was stabbed through Nikito's right hand? Which means the killer obtained that knife from here. So the killer is someone who visited this military base at least once. That's everyone though. <laughs> No, not me. This is the first time I've been here. That sounds fishy. Don't be like Yasuhiro, bro, to making yourself suspicious. It's that dreadful helicopter. The one that executed Teru Teru. Doesn't have anything to do with the incident. Damn it. This dangerous place is the reason all this messed up stuff is happening. Leaving guns out in the open is totally dangerous. Seriously, they gotta take better care of these. Easy to say, but there's no one on the island who can do that. Oh. Try looking through the truck bag. It's empty, nothing's here. When I first came, there was something on the truck bag, which means Sonya was telling the truth. Bombs had disappeared. But did Nagito know the bombs weren't real? It's possible that he thought they were the real thing. No, never mind. He said as much in his video message. <laughs> were you surprised? There ain't enough bombs to blow up an entire island. He knew the bombs were fake. He only did what he did to weed out the traitor. No, is that really it? Did Nagito only do that to expose the traitor? Maybe there was a different motive behind his action. Well, Yuhiko, how you doing? Yo. Look at that wall of spears. I guess it's obvious where the weapon came from. A spear with a flashy ornament on it hanging from the wall. This spear is, is definitely it, right? I see. Just as I thought, it looks exactly like the spear that killed Nagito. The same whip-like cord is attached to the handle, and there's a weight at the end of it. Also, Plus, it looks like one of the spears on the wall is missing. Hmm. There's no mistaking it. The killer took one of the spears and used it as a weapon. Spear of Gungnir, huh? Monokuba would totally come up with a lame name like that. But why did the killer use a spear and a knife? Well, yeah. But yeah, they could have just killed him with a knife, and it would have been easier, too. No way a spear like this would... Like this, with this unnecessary cord thing on it would be easy to use. Yeah, it definitely looks hard to wield. But so they chose this spear for a reason. What could that reason be? I feel a little tired. No matter how much I investigate, I don't feel any closer to the truth. Probably why I feel this way. I'm feeling this strange feeling that I've never felt before. As if Nagito is trying to make us suffer even after he's died. But now's not the time to think about stupid things like that. I haven't even investigated this cottage yet. It's too early to start complaining. If we investigate that place, we might be able to find a clue. Password to enter the ancient room was the most important part. Nagito was the only one who found the password written here, and he apparently went inside, but now that he's dead, are we unable to get the password? Deal with that later. One thing I'm gonna say is this, and I'm gonna be real with y'all. 
I know I hate on Nagato a lot. Nagato a lot. But I'm gonna be real. I don't doubt that Nagato is fighting for us. I never once doubted that. I'm pro I'm sure that he left us something to figure this out. I'm sure he did. I really doubt. I really truly doubt that Nagito in the end would screw us over. And y'all probably think I'm just talking or like, oh, or shoot, maybe I'm just in for a, a good surprise. You know, Nagato really just don't care. But right now, I truthfully believe that like when, when everything's said and done, Nagito was fighting for us. So I truthfully believe that when I, that he left us something and he did it on purpose. Hajime. Uh, Hajime. Oh my, you wanna go inside Nagito's room too? What are you gonna do? I was just listening to Chiaki's request. She wants me to unlock the door to Nagito's cottage because she really needs it for the class trial. She begged me to do it while licking my black eye. I didn't do that. Boy, then do it! It's sweet because it's made out of black bean paste. Hey, we don't have time to mess around. Hurry up and unlock the damn door. Fine, fine. Fine, I guess I don't have a choice. You gotta do that, right? See, I've opened the door. You can freely investigate now. This is my first time seeing it, but why did he open the door with a spell? Perhaps. Maybe the cottage key is computerized. Hey, hey. More importantly, let's go inside now that the door is open. Yeah, you're right. We're about to see something crazy. Oh, that's... Monami's treasure. I mean, I kind of knew Nagato was the one who stole it. So Nagato was living here. What was he thinking inside this room? What was he feeling as he spent his days in here? I can't even imagine. Wanting to see absolute hope, becoming despair so he could act as a stepping stone for the rest of us. No matter how much I think about it, I just don't understand him at all. I don't even know if he truly believed that. It was especially weird these past few days. What changed him? Maybe the clue to that might be hidden here as well. No. All right, I got food in the I, I got food in the oven, so let me just check on that right quick. There's a refrigerator. Nice, my cottage doesn't even have a refrigerator. I wonder where he got it from. Nagato probably supplied it himself. Hmm. Why would he go through the trouble of putting a refrigerator in his room? Does he really enjoy cold drinks? As I talked with Chiaki, I opened the refrigerator out of curiosity. Huh, there isn't really much inside. The only thing inside the refrigerator was a brown bottle. For someone who likes cold drinks, it doesn't like he stocked very much. But that bottle clearly isn't a drink, right? Really? Looks like some kind of dietary supplement to me. Protein powder, maybe? Really? 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 Huh? You, you just gonna make a you just gonna make a, a chapter four reference, huh? That's what you gonna do? Kill yourself. I took the brown bottle out of the fridge and started reading the label. Exclusively made for poisoning someone to death. Hey, this is... Yeah, it looks like poison. Poison? Looks like there's a warning label on the back. Let's examine it in more detail. But be careful with the bottle. Don't drop it. Ah, but if you worry like that, I'm going to get nervous. I grabbed the bottle with my trembling hand and began reading the warning label on the back of the bottle. Poison made specifically for killing someone. It's Monokuma Special Poison. This enchanted liquid is highly potent and takes effect immediately. Please handle with care. Though its validity is low, this liquid is very dangerous when vaporized. In its gaseous state, it is heavier than air. It breaks down in minutes and it is susceptible to hydrolysis. So it is possible for you to poison someone to death without any complication. Keep this liquid secure by storing it in a cool place 
in a glass or plastic container away from sunlight. Remember when I said that the fire bombs were probably replaced with something else? What if it was replaced with this? And what actually happened was that Nagito didn't actually die yet. He was actually killed by us when we threw the bombs in there. But if that happened, who would we be able to call out for the class trial? This sure does look like a chemical made solely for poisoning someone to death. This refrigerator must be here to keep the poison secure. But where did Nagito get something like this? Well, That question could apply to the bomb he used at the hotel too. Apply to the bomb. See? There should be a reason Nagito was able to obtain such dangerous items. The octagon inside the funhouse. The poison, he must have brought it with him from there too. Perhaps. He was probably hiding them somewhere on his body during the last class trial. He was hiding a bomb and poison during the class trial. <sighs> Jeez, how dangerous. What would he have done if he accidentally tripped and broke the bottle? Just thinking about it scares me. Hey, hey. Also, he already blew up the bomb he took with him at the lobby. But what about this poison? Huh? See? It looks like the bottle is less than half empty. Wasn't it like this? Was it like this from the beginning? Or did Nagito use it? If so, where did he use it? I wonder, is there still a trap somewhere that hasn't been sprung yet? Another trap. Perhaps. For example, maybe he was making some kind of trap using this poison before he died. If that actually exists, it'd be real bad. It could potentially kill everyone on this island. Everyone on this island. What the hell? Nagito, are you still trying to make us suffer? Are you trying to make us suffer even after you've died? Bed that comes with the cottages looks like mine. Maybe there's something hidden under his bed. It's a usual place for hiding things. Well, we should chill check just in case. But no expectations without thinking I peeked under his bed and there's something here. It's a plastic bag from the supermarket. It looks like there's something inside. A gas mask and gloves, okay. It looks like a gas mask and rubber gloves. These look like the real deal. Did he get these from the military base? Gas mask and rubber gloves. It was hiding these under his bed. What did Nuggetto use this stuff for? Hajime, was there anything else under the bed? Let's see. I peeked under the bed once again and started looking around the area I found the supermarket bag in. It's a small piece of paper on the floor. A piece of paper made of blue aluminum. A round thin piece of aluminum, huh? It's similar to those seals that go over jars and unopened mayonnaise. I get what you're saying, but does that mean this is just a piece of trash? Wait. Who knows? Might be too soon to decide that. Basically, I love my cottage. Structure like my room and the showers over here. A lot of books arranged here. Did Nagato bring these from the library? In addition, the books is a bunch of random crap stuffed on the shelf. It might take a lot of time for us to thoroughly go through that stuff. Let's just leave it for later. Yeah, I agree. A fancy looking treasure box covered in sparkling pink lights is totally standing out. Ah, could this be... Let me know if you found my treasure box. Shut up, Monami. That treasure box. Shiaki, you know about this? Yep. It's really cute. Oh, she was just reacting. It looks like Monami's stolen treasure box. If this is here, that means 
that Steve minded me talking about with Nagito. Why would Nagito steal this? In order to find out, might be good to see what's inside. Is it gonna be okay? It looks a little dangerous. It might be, but this could be some kind of clue, you know? If this wasn't important, Nagito wouldn't have stolen it from Minami in the first place. I turned my back toward the treasure box and cautiously opened the lid. Inside, there was a notebook. This is it? Why is the notebook inside the treasure box like it's something important? We got the notebook and all the treasure boxes began leaping through it. It contained sloppy drawings as if they were drawn by children and entries that looked like chicken scratch. I was able to talk to everyone for the first time today. Monokuma showed up and things turned bad. Byakuya is a leader. A lot of things happened today so everyone is tired. What is this, a diary? Looks like it. Did Monami write these? Probably. These pictures and entries totally suit her. I kept flipping through the pages. Day three, four, five, page after page of poorly written entries continued and on in a notebook. I don't really understand, but it looks like there aren't any clues here. And right when I was about to give up, my hand suddenly stopped on an entry titled Day 16. We've been in the fun house for three days. Everyone's tired and on edge. Hajime tried to go into the final dead room. He's probably panicking because no one believes him. Huh? Hajime, did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. Don't look through my notebook. From out of nowhere, Monami suddenly appeared and took the notebook out of my hand. I did ask you to look for my treasure box, but I never said you were allowed to peek inside. Jeez, that was close. If I'd come any later, you would have seen the inside of the notebook. <sighs> Unfortunately, you were a little too late. Huh? But if this notebook is here, um... then Nagito was the thief? No. Betrayal! Hey, hey. Hey, that notebook is pretty much a diary, right? Um... It seems that way. Yeah. That's right, it's my important diary all my secrets are written. Hey. You're a liar! You always show up out of nowhere. Yeah. I... Blind me, it's not good to lie, you know? Lie? There's no way you wrote in that notebook. After all, Monami can't even write. Huh? What are you saying? I can write letters easily. I, I can finally write the letter B. No, you can't. You have no fingers on your hands. See, Bullseye, I know because I'm the same way too. Are you mad? Are you are you angry that I exposed a weakling like you? Hey, hey. So that's what this is about. You, you're seriously trying to crush me. What are you saying? There's no way a big brother would ever crush his little sister. It looks like the time to settle things between us is getting closer every second. I don't know why you're getting serious, but is what Monokuma said true? Hmm? He said you didn't write in that notebook, is that true? If so, then who wrote in it? Um, How should I put it? Bye -bye. Oh my goodness, you're so useless! She ran away! Yep. The same pattern as usual. Looks like it's a waste of time to try and get answers from her. I wanted to ask her about that notebook. Well, actually, it might be better that I didn't ask her. Hmm. Our time for investigating is winding down. The bookshelf might take some time to investigate, so we should try examining some other areas first. Joe? The genres and the types of items are all so random, I can't make any sense without them whatsoever. Yeah. They say a shelf is a mirror that reflects a person's heart. Do they now? Mm. I definitely don't know much about Nagito just by looking at this. So, what should we do? It'd be really difficult to look through all these piles. Mm. That doesn't mean we should ignore it though. Yeah. I'll leave it to you then, Hajime. Wait, what? 
It's better if a boy goes through another boy's thing. You know, there might be private stuff here. But it might be true, but... So, I'll leave this shelf to you. I think I just got persuaded to do this without realizing it. I sighed and walked toward the shelf. One by one, I started removing the various books and items and examining each one. Is this what we want to find the stuff found in the octagon? Even as I examined them carefully, there were still a bunch of random books and items. No way there are any clues here. Yeah. Huh? Well, that fire wasn't the only one I received from Monokuma. This is another one. That seal. Indeed, it's a school badge of Hope Speak Academy. Does that have information about our stolen memories? Unfortunately, I couldn't find any clues about that. This file doesn't contain our information, just Hajime's information. Nagito said this only contained information about me, but is that really true? If I look at this, it should be obvious, right? He said I was a reserve department and had no talent. That might be another one of his lies, too. I opened the file I held in my hands to confirm that. Instantly, I realized something was strange. This really has only my information, and why? Is this file so thick? As soon as I opened it, it was clear to me, just as I thought Nagito had lied. Aside from my information, there was information about the others. Kazuichi, Fuyuhiko, Akane, and Sonya. And everyone who died had pages of information about them too. The file contained information on all 16 of us. Only my information, my love, butt cheek. I can't believe he make up this strange lie. So that means the rest of it might be a lie too? I turned to the page containing my information and began reading through the content. The profile contained basic information, such as date of birth, height, weight, and so forth. But there was one thing specifically that caught my eye. The words reserved course student. There was no denying it. It confirmed that I truly was a reserved course student from the reserve department. Why is this the only thing that isn't a lie? Why am I the only one here who's on the reserve department? Why am I here with all the other ultimates? Hey, hey. Hajime, did something happen? I found a strange file. <gasps> Isn't that the special prize Nagito received when he cleared the final dead room? As I recall, your student profile should be in there. It's not just my profile. The profiles of everyone on the island is here too. Nagito was lying. Huh? When you say everyone, do you mean everyone? Yeah, it's just basic information, but there should be profiles for all 16 of us. Can I take a look at that file? Chiaki leaned against me and peered into the file. You're right. My profile is really in here. But unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any details. Details? Details about our missing memories. Information about the time we spent at Hope's Peak Academy. Hmm. If it's not written in there, these profiles might have been written before we entered the Academy. Hmm. Oh, it's impossible to obtain new clues from them. Yeah, seems like it. Ah, hold on. Huh? Huh, what happened? I just noticed it right now, but... The file. His name isn't in there, right? There's supposed to be 16 names worth of profiles, but his name is the only one missing, right? Hmm? Who are you talking about? Byakuya. I'm talking about Byakuya Togami. Look carefully. No matter where I look, I don't see his name anywhere. <laughs> no way! So what if a name isn't written in that file? Perhaps based on that, you think he might be the traitor? No, it's not just because his name is written in the isn't written in here. It's not the only reason I think he's suspicious. He participated in the killing school life at Host Peak Academy, right? For someone like him to be in a similar situation on this island, no matter what, it's definitely suspicious. Well, it pains me to say this, but what you're saying about the missing name and about the killing school life, Too bad. 
It's totally wrong. There's a completely different reason. A different reason? You're getting all riled up. How should I put this? You guys have been getting all worked up about the Byakuya for no reason. Which means the great mystery that you think surrounds Byakuya. That Byakuya. So there, are, so there are there two Byakuyas? Maybe Byakuya had a son? I don't know. The great mystery that you think surrounds that Byakuya doesn't exist. You're basing it on one person's cheap speculation. What do you mean? What the heck? You don't have to ask me that. You know the answers by looking through those profiles, right? Huh? My eyes turned back to the fire. One by one, I started flipping through the pages and confirming the names. And suddenly I came across a page that was filled with question marks. Every section was filled with question marks. It could barely be considered a student profile. On that page, I was only able to confirm one thing. Ultimate imposter. That's that Byakuya's true identity. True identity. He was a fake that was pretending to be the ultimate affluent progeny, Byakuya Togami. A fake? Hey, um... The fact that his profile is filled with question marks isn't a mistake or an oversight. Surprisingly enough, that's the correct information regarding him. The ultimate imposter has no name, no permanent address, and even his name and gender is unknown. Age. Basically, he doesn't exist. Because he doesn't exist, he's able to exist as anybody. That's his talent. Though I'm not jealous of that at all. That person wasn't really Byakuya Togami? Is that why he was so much fatter compared to when he was involved in the killing school life? So cool! His physique doesn't affect his ability to fool others at all. Real imposters are skilled like that. And he was lying to us the whole time. But still. But he couldn't help it. What? Why couldn't he help it? Oh. Cause that's his talent. Huh? Well, having talent means you're also bound to that talent. The moment you obtain a talent, your way of life has already been chosen for you. You can't do anything else except rely on that talent. Regardless of whether you want that life or not. <laughs> In that sense, compared to the other ultimates, your life might be a bit more liberating. Well... Anyway... I'm not happy you guys fell for a scam that I had nothing to do with. That's right! So I'll tell you straight up. This revelation about Byakuya is exactly the truth. And... What was he trying to say to me at that time? I cannot talk to others about my past. Hold on. I cannot talk to others about my past. I suspect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Distrusting others and being distrusted in turn. For a long time, my life has been a living hell. Based on the context, if I had to guess... No, no! Maybe he was just complaining that he was cursed to wander the earth as nothing more than a fraud! <laughs> but if you guys had your school memories, you never would have been betrayed in the first place! I mean, it'd be different if you were meeting him for the first time! <laughs> but since you guys went to Host Peak Academy, you should have known about the ultimate imposter already! So in the end... It all leads back to memory loss. Phew. Future Foundation sure is awful. There's no way you should ignore Monami or the traitor. Who is it? Who's the traitor? Just looking at these 16 profiles, I still want to know who's from the Future Foundation. Is there really someone like that? Of course. Well, obviously you wouldn't know. I made that file so you guys couldn't find out. Could it be? So it's just as I thought. You're the one who did it. The fact that there are 16 profiles in there is what's wrong. Hmm. I mean, the trainer is a spy sent by the Future Foundation, not a student from Host Peak Academy. You... You made a fake profile for the trainer and included it in here. Correct. It wouldn't be fun if you guys figured out who the trainer was so easily, right? Hey, hey. And we can't use the file to figure out the trainer. That was true for Nagito too, right? Hmm. Well, probably. Hmm. 
It's driven with despair, isn't it? You wasted your precious time on something that isn't a clue. Are you sure? Was that a wise decision? Time's up, you know. Time's up. Wait. Bye -bye. Excuse me for a moment. That chime just now. What is most important for living things? Well, personally, I think time is. I mean, your bank account may go up and down, but time will inevitably run out, right? That's why we gotta cherish time. There is nothing more wasteful than wasting time. So, time's up. We will begin the last class trial. So please gather at Monokuma Rock. <laughs> I'll see you soon. The last class trial? He said that, right? He said last class trial. Yep. Yeah, I heard it too. He really did say it was the last class trial. What do you think? Should we believe him? Um... Monokuma seemed anxious about the Monokuma timer earlier, right? Two more days? He said something about the killing school trip ending, right? Based on a time limit, this might definitely be the last one. But, still... but I can't imagine that it's the real end. I think Monokuma's real plan might be just beyond that. Real plan. Is Monokuma still planning to make us do something? What could it be? Maybe after putting us through all this, he's planning to kill the remaining survivors all at once. I have a theory. I theorize that the future foundation is ran by the survivors of Hope Speak Academy. And that timer is counting down the time when they're going to come to where we are and basically save us. Because because Monokuma is basically counting down his own time for how long he can have fun. Because he knows the future foundation is going to be here soon to help us. That's my that's my theory. That's what I think is going on. That's what I think is happening. It's really, really, it's so relieving to know that that wasn't actually Byakuya, bruh. That's so relieving. By the end of Trigger Happy Havoc, I was really starting to like Byakuya a lot. So when he died, I, I, I really messed with me a lot. But now that I know it isn't actually him, like, you know, I'm, 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 a, I'm a little happy. I don't care about this ultimate imposter guy. He's, he, 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 he's, he's more of a side character than the freaking Mukuro Ikusaba. I don't care. Like, maybe after putting us through all this, he's planning to kill the remaining survivors all at once. Well? But still, it's not a good idea to think about it too much, I think. I think we should focus on the class trial that's waiting for us first. You right? Class trial for Nagito's murder. We're pretty screwed. I haven't collected my thoughts because we were so focused on this file. Still can't see who killed Nagito. But still. Well, you don't have to worry so much. Huh? Right? I mean, we're not fighting this alone, you know? You're right. You're absolutely right. We're not alone. Even if it's a mystery that can't be solved alone. As long as everyone's cooperates and works together. Yeah, if we do that, things will turn out fine. Looks like everyone's here. Huh? Is this it? Shouldn't there be more people? Damn it. Stop it, you're making me depressed. Stupid fool. Um. So is it going to happen again? The cruel conflict where we must doubt our friends? <laughs> Bro, once we do with this, we can go back, right? right. Th that Monokuma said so, didn't he? Said this was the last class trial. Damn it. But we've been tricked every step of the way. No way I can believe that so easily. Of course not. Why can't you believe it? The guy who's making us do all this said it. Do all this is the one saying it, you know? You know, right? That's why I'll definitely survive. We can really go home after we deal with this class trial. Right. 
I'll definitely find out who the killer is no matter what, even if I have to pull out all the stops. You. What? Why are you here? You haven't realized it yet? The feeling of wanting to leave this island. Thinking like that is Monokuma's trap, you know? Huh? What are you saying? Got it? There's no way Monokuma will end things here. He's planning something far worse. <laughs> I'm trying to jinx us. I'll pick you up. Stupid rabbits just shut up. Nah, she's got a point. Everyone, you mustn't run away from despair. Huh? I finally realized after losing my powers. I realized that cursing your powerlessness or your fate accomplishes nothing. Possibility may be small, but as long as there is a possibility, you must face it. In order to become someone who can be proud of yourself. So I will fight. Huh? What's her deal? Um. I do not really know, but she seems different from before. <laughs> Maybe she read a self-help book. Wait. By her eyes, she looks so determined. You. What can you just what can you tell just by looking at those button eyes? Uh. Anyway, make sure you turn off Mini Maru. It'd be annoying if you started talking during the trial. <laughs> Fine. But still. Somehow I understand what Monami is saying, I think. Anyway, let's get going to the last class yeah. trial. You're right. We need to fight as much as we can. No matter what hopeless truth awaits us in the end. This is the end. I kept saying these words to myself over and over within my mind. I entered Monokuma Rock. Yeah. This elevator ride. This will be the last time for this too, right? I hope so. Well? Let's worry about things after we're finished. You more importantly, we must focus on the class trial before us. Damn it. Killer managed to kill someone like Nagito. No way this is gonna go smoothly. I mean, I still can't believe one of us was able to do that. Um. Nagito was problematic in many ways, but he was also a valuable asset during the trials. Yeah, you're right. In fact, during the Funhouse ordeal, we were completely dependent on him. Even if he's gone, the ones who survived need to stand up and fight. We must fight. When the door slowly opened, this bright light greeting us, is that the light of hope or the light of despair? Well, now. well then, now that that Shatterbox Nagito is gone, there are only six of you left. Shut the hell up! Enough, just start this already! Hey! This is it, right? This is the last trial. Yep. Yep, sure is. <laughs> so you gotta show some enthusiasm and make sure you give it your all. Alright! Didn't I tell you you said it? This is the end. Now then. Let's get this trial started. Viva killing! This is the fifth class trial. According to Monokuma, this is also the last class trial. A curtain is about to rise. Nagito Komaeda, the ultimate lucky student. When I first met him, I thought he was a nice guy. He came across as very sociable. But his true nature held such a demented thought process that nothing was like his outward appearance. He said he believed in hope more than anything else. He said he was yearning for a powerful hope that can overcome any despair. He said he would even help despair just to prove that hope will never lose to despair. And he said he'd become a stepping stone for hope. His way of thinking was completely screwed up. But there were also times he saved us too. Someone like him was killed. That was the end of him. And I have no idea at all who did it, but...
There's no way we can end this without knowing. We will be consumed by despair. That's why we absolutely have to find out. The person who finished off Nagito. The killer who murdered Nagito. In order to return from this despair alive, we need to reach out to the truth. And if Monokuma says this is really the last class trial, that's all the more reason we need to do this. And so, this life-threatening trial billowing with hope and despair, the last one, has begun. That's the end of the episode, guys. If y'all enjoyed, like, subscribe, leave a comment, or read them all, type into the next one. Next episode, we'll be doing this class trial, and we're going to find out who killed Nagito Komaeda. Man. I don't have any words. See y'all next time. Peace out. I love y'all. The music is bumping.